This is a video about the new software tools that were created to simplify, improve, and accelerate system optimization with L Acoustic Sound Vision and LA Network Manager. To demonstrate the power of these new tools, we'll walk through the optimization workflow for a specific project at the Santa Barbara Bowl in California, which is shown here in Sound Vision. We'll start by placing our main care array in the venue. To improve mechanical optimization, we have created the first new tool, Autosplay. Autosplay provides two tools in one. First, we'll use the init tool, which adjusts the angles between loudspeakers to fully cover our listening area from a start and a stop that we define. This allows us to quickly assess the coverage and output of our chosen array. Next, we'll refine the coverage with Autosplay Optimize tool. This tool allows us to add a reference point within the listening area and to define the SPL loss that is acceptable from the front to the reference and from the reference to the back. Autosplay uses quantitative and qualitative algorithms to finally adjust the inter-element angles, optimizing both the wavefront integrity and SPL distribution. Now that we've optimized the physical shape of the array, we'll use electronics to further improve performance. The new auto filter tool uses linear phase FIR filters to optimize the high frequency response to a defined contour objective. With the main system optimized, we can now add additional systems to complete the overall design. If any of these secondary systems are line sources, we will again use auto display and auto filter. We can also adjust the relative gain and delay between sources and evaluate global summation. The nearly real-time mapping capability of Sound Vision allows for quick adjustments and assessments, saving lots of time. With our model complete, it is time to implement the design at the actual venue. During this process, we will want to transfer the data from Sound Vision, our modeling environment, to our control environment of LA Network Manager. To do this, we simply open our saved Sound Vision session in LA Network Manager. Logical groups are created for all subsystems, and all parameters are transferred and fully available. After implementation comes calibration, but we'll save that topic for another dedicated video segment. With our system calibration process complete, it's time for the show. At this point, the system has been modeled, implemented, and fully calibrated. But if the temperature and humidity change, the calibration will now require adjustment. For starters, even though each group of high-frequency devices has a unique air loss compensation, we simplify adjustment by providing a single fader that allows for global change. But the new Auto Climate tool makes this even easier. It calculates exactly how much change is required to adapt the system response to the new conditions that are either entered manually or measured with P1. Auto Climate provides an indication on the global fader so we know exactly how much change is needed to restore the original response. Achieving consistently optimal results is easier than ever before with this suite of optimization tools. Auto Splay, Auto Filter, and Auto Climate. Sophisticated optimization tools to keep you in control.